How to create a new Google Ads campaign. Hi everyone and welcome to PPC Hubship channel. In this video we're going to learn how to create a Google Ads campaign, a search campaign from scratch. I have helped many many people with their initial campaign setup so I would like to show you too a quick and effective way to do it with some best practices and hidden features. Keep watching the video. So let's begin with the creation. After you created your first Google Ads account and logged into it, you will end up exactly here in this page. Now let's go to the campaigns tab, which is on the left hand side here at my mouse. Now we're gonna click on this blue plus button to create a campaign. New campaign. Here you can select your goals. Usually they describe some algorithms in the background and also describe your bidding strategy. For the very first time, I recommend you to create a campaign without a goals guidance. So we're gonna click on here. The next thing that we're gonna choose is the type of the campaign. As we spoke about it, we're gonna choose a search campaign here. That's what we need now. So we're gonna just click on it and go further. Next question, select the result you want to get from this campaign. Well, if you select website visits, algorithm will support you to get more visits on your website. Let's just go for simple website visits now. Here we can see our campaign type is search. We're gonna give a name to our campaign, which is going to be my first campaign. I hope it's correct, right? Search network, display network without going into details. Yes, you can have it both. It's still going to be a search campaign and your ads will show on the search results. Let's see more settings, start date, it's given and date, you can set it, not necessary. Campaign URL options, it's quite advanced. I would recommend you now to skip it. Dynamic search ad settings. If you want to have dynamic search ads, you can start with it. I recommend you not to do so. It's easier to understand the whole Google advertising process if you use and start and begin with a regular search campaign. So let's just not bother these. Locations, really important to find location. I here already chose Hungary because I'm from Hungary, but you can choose the country where you can sell your product or you can provide your service. Right, so here basically enter location to target or exclude. Here we can add other countries. Let's add Croatia. So now we add Croatia as a country location options this is an important thing and i recommend you to pay attention on that because here google recommends you this option people in or who show interest in your targeted locations so it means if i'm sitting in the middle of india and you only want to target hungary and croatia i will write your keyword plus write croatia or write hungary and your ad will be shown to me in India, which you probably don't want. I recommend you to click on people in or regularly in your targeted locations here. Let's go further. Language is very important. Usually I recommend never to let it on all languages. If I target Croatia and Hungary, I would use Croatian and Hungarian language. But let's say I will only target now Hungary. So the languages I choose now is obviously Hungarian and as it's recommended English too. Why? Because the language determines the language of your browser. And there are people like myself who prefer to have the browser in English even though my native language isn't English and also there are like companies, multilingual companies who have their assets, computers and everything in a common language which is usually English. So this is why it's good. It won't show your ads to people in England or the United States or Australia. It will be shown only in your targeted locations 
but still can reach people using English browsers, right? Audiences, I would say for now, let's skip this. The budget determines how much do you spend on daily basis. There is something really important to know. This is called over delivery. Make sure you read the article about over delivery in the description. The most important thing about it that over delivery means on certain days the system can spend the double of your daily budget. So let's say you give here 10 units, let's say $10 uh, as daily budget. So you want to spend $10 every day. It means there will be days when system will spend $20, right, or 20 units. And on other days, system will compensate, so we'll just spend the 80% of your budget, so let's say $8, right? And it will be like for a few days. It's something that you cannot turn off. Everyone faces with the same issue, your competitors, all your friends who advertise via Google Ads, everyone, right? So let's see the bidding. Here, system asks you, uh, what do you want to focus on clicks or you can choose here impression share i would recommend you to select a bid strategy directly here you can still select maximize clicks i recommend it if you really don't have any time to spend on adwords or google ads but if you have like five ten minutes per day i rather recommend you to use manual cpc and adjust your bids on a daily basis to yourself according to your keywords right so I will go for manual CPC right now and let's see more settings. This is conversions. This is what we're going to talk about later. I will create a video about an easy conversion setup as schedule all day. Well, if you have a web store, I recommend you to use all days, 24 hours per day. Let's say if you have like, let's say a coffee shop, which is open from Mondays to Fridays and only a certain amount of time, let's say from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. in the morning only. Then you can set this as schedule because it's pointless to show your ads at 8 p.m. when your shop is closed and no one can visit it, right? But you can have it just simply on all days. Ad rotation. Recommend you use optimize prefer best performing ads system will force your better performing ads to be shown Actually, this is what you want. This is what most of the people want why to show an ad which performs worse than the other About extensions now, this is an interesting thing if this is your very first campaign ever and you don't know what your ad will look like It's really difficult to add ad extensions, right? Because you don't even know it's going to be an extension of what. But still, I would recommend you here to click on site link extensions. And in this case, if you have a YouTube channel, Facebook page, LinkedIn or Instagram, you can link those pages here. So allow me to interrupt myself for a second. I would like to show you that this is what an actual ad looks like. And just below it, you can see the site link extensions. The site link extensions provide you with more space and more content for free. So now let's get back to the video. We're gonna have our Facebook profile. We're gonna just write here some catchy text like us on Facebook. Description line one recommended not necessary as you can see final URL Facebook.com here is important make sure your Facebook page is public so everyone can reach it Right and the other thing really important you need to add at least two site links So you cannot provide just one so in this case we're gonna link let's say YouTube channel right and here you're gonna link your channel or playlist whatever you have and then click on save and basically now you created two site link extensions now we can skip these call out extensions and call extensions you can add it later don't worry about that save and continue and now we're gonna set up an ad group well this is really important the structure so now we created the campaign the campaign contain your ad groups 
and your ad groups will contain your ads. Ads will be shown to customers. So the really important thing to remember about the previous topic, a campaign determines your daily budget and your location targeting. These are the two most important things that a campaign describes. An ad group basically collects the ads that fit together. So let's say you have an ice cream shop and in that shop you sell regular ice creams and vegan ice creams. You might want to put the ads about vegan ice cream into one ad group and regular ice cream to another ad group. So this is what ad group for and you can bid separately. So here let's give one unit of feed. It could be one dollar and let's name the ad group it's going to be regular ice cream right keywords basically you can add your keywords whenever later on i still recommend you to add them now if you don't know how i would say enter your website here and it will immediately give some results and also you can see monthly searches. It's an estimated number, so don't take it too seriously, but it's a good start point. So let's just give a few, at least five, I recommend you. You can write it on your own, so you don't need to use this uh, keyword ideas tool. What is really important, the match types of the keywords. And if you don't know what are these match types, here is an article about it that can explain you how they work or you can just check the video which is going to appear somewhere here where my mouse is so by this we created our ad group there is nothing else left than to create our first advertisement which is pretty exciting usually system already provides you with the final url if you provide it in the beginning of the campaign setup if not let's keep using agent.com because it's quite easy the two most important things, the two headlines, headline number one, you can see it here, and headline number two, here, these are mandatory fields to fill. Right, headline three, good to have it, but it's not necessary, and must know that they will not always show. So as it says here, headline three may not always show. Other important thing, a mandatory, to give a description. It could be a bit longer, as you can see here, it has 90 characters that you can use. Description 2, it's actually the same like headline 3, not mandatory and will not always show. Add URL options, I recommend you now to skip it, it's a bit advanced stuff. And once you're done with this, you can just click on save and continue. It says that you can still add more to your ads. Of course, you always can add more. Let's just save it now. And basically, we have finished and set up our very first search campaign. And here's a quick overview about your daily budget, the not selected goal, also a bit strategy here. Basically, we can just continue to campaign and here we can see our first ad group since we are already in our campaign that can be seen here, my first campaign, here are our keywords and also the ads is here. There is actually something interesting that the status of the ad which you can see here it says under review. Well, if you don't know what under review means, you might want to check out my early video here in the top right corner, which explains what to do and how to handle under review. So that's all about how to create a Google Ads search campaign. Find more PPC related content on the channel and thank you for subscribing to PPC Hubship. Good clicks.